One of the great things about the Chrome development tools is that it allows you to play around with the CSS and make changes in a design environment without actually making changes to the real site. Because I can um, add CSS to the current CSS using the developer tools. Let's just inspect an element and I can show you. And remember that the developer tool doesn't really affect the CSS that everybody else sees when they come to your site. It just affects the preview window here. So you can see what the changes will look like before they actually go live on your site. Now I've selected that first element there, that, that first link in the recent post section, and I want to make a few changes. I want to add a few new rules to the CSS. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can add a new property to an existing rule. So for example if I wanted to say um, I want to add an, a, a new property to the A to the links and the links that are visited. Let's say I actually want them, um, let's say text decoration, and I haven't quite got that right. Text, let's try that again. Text decoration, uh, none. And you see there that the lines now have disappeared. There's no underlines on the links. Now I personally don't like that. I like to have links as links and everybody knows their links so I always leave the the text decoration um, as underlined which is the default. Now what I've done there is I clicked after this curly bracket and it gave me the space to type a new rule into this existing or rather type a new property into this existing rule. The other thing you might like to do is you might want to add a completely new rule. So for example I might want to add um, a rule that says once the mouse is hovering over one of these links I want to change the background. So let's do that. This little button up here allows you to add a new style rule and because that link is selected it automatically comes up thinking I want to uh, play around with the A which is the the link tag so which is true but I want to do it only when the mouse is hovering. So I've created a new rule there so that when the mouse is hovering uh, these rule, these properties will be in effect. Let's start off and say uh, we'll change the background color and I'll say make the background color yellow. Okay, if I move my mouse over you can see now that those are yellow background. What I would like to be able to do though is I'd like to be able to type in here and see the changes taking place up there and this button up here, toggle element state, what it does is I can select the hover there and what it does is it forces the selected item to be in that state. So my selected item was that first one so it's forcing it to show the property as if my mouse is hovering over it and that's great because now I can go back here I can type in new properties for this rule. Let's say uh, we want a top border so border top and we'll say we want a solid border at the top. Now that's quite a thick solid border so let's make it thin and we can even change the color. Let's um, I wouldn't actually design the page this way but just to show you let's make that top border blue. And you see the changes taking place in real time up there. So using the developer tools what I'm doing is I'm kind of designing my site in real time um, and seeing the changes immediately. But if somebody went to my website and looked at the, this particular page, they wouldn't see this because this isn't the live CSS. This is the CSS that I'm changing in the, the Chrome developer tools. So I can play around with it to my heart's content and when I'm happy with it, if I decided I wanted to put this code into my real CSS file, I would just copy the code that I've created here and paste it into the real CSS file and upload it to my server and then those changes would be live. Now I don't want to do that in this case but as you've seen you can add uh, new properties to existing rules, you can add new style rules completely from scratch and it gives you a massive amount of freedom in changing the look and feel um, in a design environment without actually changing the CSS on your site.